Hey everyone, um, this is Hugo, and I'd like to show you a little bit of the process that I took up over this uh, stylized floor. So it's like a medieval inspired by Diablo, and um, I have some nodes over here that I actually created in order to create this kind of uh, stone cracked version. And this guy pretty much gives me uh, the variability that I want to for this whole floor. So I pretty much create like a, a tile sampler and I use a parable on this guy. Uh, you can see right here, paraboloid. And this whole process over here gives me this sort of stone pattern going on in the floor. If I go back to the, the gravel floor, you will see that I keep mixing and matching uh, a lot of this um, stone floors. And I have a high blend that actually I blend together with another one that it has like a more X amount and Y amount. And I'm able to change the position, which is not necessarily position, it's just basically the harshness of the, the cracks. So if I go up right here, you will see that the stones get a little bit closer. Um, it takes a little while to calculate, but you can see that the stones get a little bit closer to each other. And if I do this, it will just uh, make the stones a little bit like uh, far, farther away from each other. Uh, what I'm doing here is just I'm doing a minimum darken and I'm inverting this guy in order to have some variation on, on top of the, the stones. And then um, I create like a little pebble maker. Uh, which gives me the little tiny little ones right there. I'm using my using my HB pop uh, noise polisher as you can see right here uh, Which is something I created a long time ago and then um, I create three types of leaves right here and I position them a little bit more up in order to create this whole amount of leaves all over the floor and I combine the two normal maps that I'm creating for the stones and leaves. And as you can see, we get this sort of result right here. So if I actually click twice on the random seed, if I go to another random seed, you will have um, the same style, but a whole different variation of the floor itself. It takes a little while to load because it has to load all the sub nodes that I created and the HB po uh, noise polish is really expensive so as you can see some of the dub nodes are going on and there you go so here's another variation that um, you can get from the random seed itself um, all of these guys over here all, since all of them have their same position and I can go to the high plane itself and say hey you go up a little bit more so the the stones there on the top the, you're not going to see the smaller stones on the bottom so i'm using this new high blend from substance designer 5.6 and as you can see i can get this variation even better so yeah i just i will just wanted to show you guys up what i have been into and the more and the more i study uh, stylized um, materials and substance, I create more nodes. So for example, one of these guys that I created, which was a HB grunge, uh, gives me a lot of details uh, of par. This is why the reason why I actually have in between this node and that node, I create all these colors there on top of the rocks. And as you can see the final result right here. So yeah, I um, hope you like it. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And here are the roughness, the high map, and the inclusion. Thank you. Bye-bye.